go to sleep with a chopper. I'm caressing her body, yeah. My car full of narcotics, yeah. What's up, y'all? You feel me? Welcome back, you man. Oh, really? TV. This what it is. You feel me? Uh, about to go to the bank. I sort some stuff out. You feel me? I make sure that bread right for real, for real. And then uh, I'm gonna head to the hair store. I gotta get actually some more do rags or whatever. So uh, definitely gotta do that. And then um, probably come back to the crib for real, for real. I found. You feel me? I think. Was it like two more sodas for real? And then I got a throwback soda. So the soda video definitely coming. I'll probably just do it by myself just to knock it out. Just to, you feel me, get a video out of out of there. You feel me, get y'all the content. You feel me? I just had to talk with my brother. You feel me? Got to keep this content going for real. For real. I got to stay focused. I got to focus on this. And then, you know, everything going to fall into place for real. But yeah, today, nothing too crazy, nothing too wild. I was planning on going all the way up to my job, but then I thought, man, I might as well just get them a call. They always try to call my phone, you feel me? They get me to come into work. So I might as well call them and handle business over the phone. They don't never like being there any daggone way. So I might as well step to them for real. So yeah, that's all it is for today for real, for real. But I'm gonna get as much footage as I can. I'm gonna try and make it as entertaining as I can. Uh, I'm gonna try to for real, for real hit the gym. I haven't been to the gym in a minute. Been a little sluggish, been a little down, but all that stopping, you feel me? It's great weather. It's no need to be down. It's no need to be sad in the house. I might as well get out and do my thing for real. So I'm gonna take y'all with me and we're gonna see, you feel me? How does the rest of this year play out for real? Like I'm not gonna just keep y'all in the shadows and keep y'all in the dark. Whatever, you feel me, about to pop off. I'ma let y'all know. If it's certain things I gotta keep under wraps, then I will. But other than that, man, y'all gonna know about everything. We're gonna see challenges, collabs, everything. Uh I personally wanna do videos with certain people, but I feel as though I want to get to a certain level before I just start reaching out to them because it's a lot of people that already got a buzz out there and I just want to match that energy. I don't want them to feel as though, you feel me, I'm coming over on their squad, you know, trying to bite off of they, you know, they, they vibe that they got going on and try to, you feel me, get people over to my channel. Nothing. Nah, man. Look, if y'all genuinely rock with me, I know y'all going to find me for real. If y'all genuinely rock with the positivity that's going on over here, y'all just genuinely going to rock. So... Uh, how y'all think I look? You feel me with glasses? You feel me, y'all? I know it's a little glare right there. All right, it's a little, a little better right here. But how y'all think I like look with glasses? You feel me? If y'all been noticing, I know I notice it because you feel me. I always notice everything about myself. Y'all notice? You feel me? I got like a bump right here, like on my eye. I got another one on the top of there, another one on the other one. It's like. I don't know how to pronounce the word, but it's like when bacteria gets in your eye and stuff. I just got to put a warm compress on it. Uh, I I had it before. It's not like my first time, you feel me, having it. So it's like, I'm not saying like, oh, I'm used to it and all of that. But, you know, I just got to put a warm compress on it. And it should go away. But I got to like do it like continuous, like four, four times a day type of stuff. And... I ain't gonna lie, I get lazy at times and don't even feel like doing it, but I realize, you feel me, on camera, I don't like how it look. I don't like how I look in the mirror or in pictures and stuff, so I definitely gotta take it serious and really, you feel me, get it, get it, get them, them Jones up out of there, you feel me, by the, by the summertime, really. And, uh, cause the last time I had it, the first time I had it, I was young, I was in middle school and I had just got surgery. I, I, I wasn't just trying to just sit there and go through the whole process. I just went and just got surgery. So they, they actually came back and I just haven't taken them, taken them serious, but now I am for real, for real. So yeah, I definitely gotta, definitely gotta take them serious. I want to just get the surgery and just get it on out the way, but like, I could just pocket that bread. The, the bread that it's gonna cost to get the surgery and, and do all that stuff, man, I might as well just pocket that bread for real, for real, and just, you know, well, let me not take that, but just pocket that bread, oh, hot. pocket that bread, and just, you feel me, do something else with it, so. But like I said right now, you feel me, I'm on the way to the, to the bank. Uh, see if I could get everything situated because my first bank the bank actually closed down so I actually got to get another bank and the weird thing is uh, I'm supposed to get paid tomorrow so if there's no place to send my check 
if there's no place to direct deposit my check, how am I going to receive my check? If I'm supposed to get paid tomorrow, how am I supposed to receive my check? That's my biggest question right now. So <laughs> I'm gonna go up here and you know get this situated, but then I gotta call my my job and see what they gonna do with that because I'm pretty sure they try to send my check is definitely not gonna go through because the bank doesn't even exist anymore. So I'm definitely definitely got to get that situated because I, I need my bread. You feel me? I'm just blessed and lucky that I get paid every week. So. I definitely need, you feel me, that money to, to just, you know, do what I want to do on my, my days off for for. But yeah, like I said, y'all gonna get more content, man. There's no need and no reason for me not to be picking the camera up more and be posting more and just be more active on YouTube and try to grow my YouTube fan base and my YouTube family for, you know, I see so many people in the YouTube community, you know, doing it and none of them, like I can honestly say none of them dress better than me none of them like in my opinion none of them are funnier than me you know and i'm a cool funny dude like and it's kind of bright I didn't even notice how bright this john was let me turn the brightness down a little bit you feel me? that's a little too dark but none of them funny for real for real if you ask me like none of them funny like they corny. If anything, they some corn balls. Like I, I just, I feel as though I'm not gonna say I feel like I'm naturally funny. People tell me, nah, bro, you funny as hell. Like you, you funny as hell. So y'all just, I just gotta pick the camera up more and really, you feel me, be myself. Like I've been doing and just show y'all, you feel me, my true self. I probably shouldn't be vlogging and you know driving at the same time, but. At the same time, I still need the footage. I just love to pick the camera up and sometimes talk to y'all too. Cause so many people say, oh, you you so you so mature for your age and you know, you don't move like a 23 year old and all this other stuff. So I'm just like, man, maybe the world might feel the same way for real, for real. So you 23, man, for real, I ain't gonna lie to you. If you 23 and you lost in this world, or you just graduated, don't know which direction you going in, man. Don't even stress it for real. Just get you a nine to five. You feel me? Do whatever you feel me. Do whatever you need to do to survive at the moment. At the moment. Do whatever you need to do to survive, but still chase. You feel me? Still find your dream and then chase it. Like, if I had it like that, I ain't even gonna cap. If I really had the bread to, I'd have been moved out of Jersey on my own. Got my own spot, everything. I would have been did that. But my thing is, like I keep telling everybody and I tell my friends, I don't want to just move out and just go get another go get an apartment you feel me like i like that don't make sense to me to, to to move out of a house to something smaller you know and it's not at the end of the day it won't be yours like i just never never understood that like i'm on a different mindset i want to be an owner i want to be a homeowner like i don't want to just be renting oh bro i want to get to that point one day where i can own an apartment building where i i like where you feel me i own that like where people renting for me so i don't want to rent an apartment man i want to buy a house you feel me if i could buy land for real for real and then build the house from scratch i would love to do that you know so i just gotta stack up my chips until that day come and i'm blessed to do that then that's when i'll do that but for right now i'm not I'm not finna go out here and rent no apartment, man, just to say, yeah, I got my own spot. Man, look, people can criticize me all they want, man. Males, females, oh, you don't stay by yourself. You you, you too old to be, you feel me, still at the crib? Yeah, all right. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah, all right, for real, for real. Like, man, look, I ain't ready to throw no bread in no trash. That's basically what y'all doing out here. Y'all out here trying to prove to people I can live on my own, I can make it on my own. Man, look, if you have to, I say this, if you have to live in an apartment on your own because of your family problems messed up, your home, your house ain't really all that, I understand that. But if you have, you come from a good upbringing, man, and you got a great crib, what's the point of leaving for real? If you don't have to, only leave, you feel me? Ain't no point in leaving to prove to what, prove to who? Who cares if you still live at at the crib with your parents and you got your own will like who cares bro who care where you lay your head at they not coming home with you every night 
Like, and this go for men and females. Females, if you got a dude and he mad that he ain't, that you ain't got your own spot, like, ask him, do he got his? Fellas, you feel me? Y'all gotta, y'all gotta join, man. And she asking you why you ain't got your own spot. Ask her why she ain't got hers. And if she do, be like, all right, that's cool, that's what's up, but that's not in my plans. What you got going on ain't in my plans, type of thing. So, I just, I don't, like, I, I don't know. I'm just, in, in that mindset, I'm just different in that mindset, in that aspect. I want a house. I don't want no apartment. <laughs> I want to be able to play my music as loud as I want. You know, have a garage, do whatever I want with my, my, my yard and fix my house up however I want to do it and all that stuff, man. You can't you can't do that in no apartment, man. Nah, man. You damage it or you get too many complaints, they kick you out. You be out on the streets. Nah, man. I, I'm not trying to live like that. No way. I'm not even trying to step foot in doing that. My first step, I want my first step to be a, a sturdy first step for real. Yeah, but like I said, man, shout out to everybody who graduated. You feel me? Shout out to everybody who graduated college, high school, middle school. You, you made another step in your life. You took another step, making another big step in your life, a big stepping stone. Keep going, man. Keep growing. You know, stay focused on your on your goals and, and, and stay true to yourself. And don't let nobody tell you you can't do nothing, man. But yeah, we almost here to this bank, man. I'm ready to pop up in here and see what they talking about. And I'm going to get back with y'all. This is going to happen. Okay, so I went to my bank. They said that I actually have to let my employer know about, you know, changing, you know, the routing number, the direct deposit number, my account, all of that stuff. I have to change all of that stuff over, you know, which is crazy because my bank was bought out by another bank and it's like like the lady told me on the phone from my job she was like usually they just change the name and everything else they say i'm like yeah well what does that do for my check right now she's like well we could just send it over to payroll and, and, and everything should be straight i'm like all right bet she like you had to do this that i said no nah, i'm gonna just come up to the to the job then i'm not doing all that weird stuff and waiting and then miraculously my check get lost no we not doing that y'all not ready to play with my bread that's not ready to happen so what's about to happen is i'm about to go up there now and let them know you feel me everything that's going on and talk to them about you feel me like my referral bread i'm supposed to be getting like all of that stuff man i'm ready to get all of that situated i gotta get all of this handled for real bull we're about to pull out this spot real quick I do not want him to hit my car. So, yeah, but please don't hit my car. Thank you. But, uh, yeah, about to drive over there. Say, what, about a 20-minute 20, 20 drive? I knew that was going to happen. I'm like, I'm telling myself, man, it ain't going to be no easy way, easy way out this joint for real. And it's cool with me, man. As long as my money right, I don't really care if I had to drive an hour and a half away for real. For real. As long as my bread is straight, we all good. So, Gotta go do that. I knew I was gonna have to run on out there. Run on out there. And then, you feel me? Come back home for real. Like I said, I gotta go to the hair store. And it's uh somewhere else I had to go. I think I had to go to CVS or something. So, but yeah, man. It's gonna be a, a long day for real, for real. I ain't even gonna lie. And it's hot, man. It's already like 70 degrees outside, man. It, it's getting hot real quick. And it's only 10 o'clock. So, but yeah, on this road, man. Let's get it. All right, y'all. So this is a recap of yesterday. It's currently the next day. And basically, you feel me? Like I said, yesterday I was trying to figure out everything. And it just didn't go to the way I planned it, the way I wanted it to plan out. So, uh, yeah, these next few days going to be, you feel me, a little stressful, a little rough. But it's all right, though. We got everything situated. Everything's going to get handled. Everything's going to get dealt with. So I'm cool. I'ma just deal with how I deal with it, you feel me? It's not like I ain't been, you feel me, in a in a little little tough spot before. So I'm good for real for real. I'm just waking up. That's why my energy a little sluggish. My eyes probably still got crust in them. Um you feel me? Breath barking right now. Yeah, it's barking right now. If, if camera hey, if y'all had senses through here, oh yeah, no. Nah, you feel me? Uh uh. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be cool for real, for real. Some of y'all probably wouldn't even want to be my friends. That That's how bad it is. 
But it's okay because I'm not talking to nobody. I don't, um, I don't feel like just going nowhere for for so it's not really a problem it's not a big deal uh but for right now i'm ready to put this warm compress on my eyes like i told y'all you feel me earlier in this video you feel me i i just gotta put warm compresses on my eye you feel me get the get the bumps get the bumps down for real, for real. it sounds a lot nastier than what it is it's just like i said it's bacteria built up um that just come from you know rubbing your eyes and basically that's about it because you know your hands is very dirty so yeah just be conscious of that people because anybody can get them for real for real. it's not like a hereditary thing so but yeah today nothing really huge plan nothing really to do uh i wanted to knock out the soda video so i might actually you feel me i might actually do that knock the soda video out uh and that's be about it for real for real i got work tonight so tonight my last night of work uh it's memorial day weekend so try to have fun try to get out the house try to get some sun this weekend or whatever but yeah i'm gonna catch you on the next video like i said next video it it will probably be the, the soda challenge because i'm just not gonna wait on nobody i'm just gonna do it on my own and that's just how it's gonna be there's many more videos out there for me and my friends to collab with um, and there's many more ideas that I want to come up with for a video. So thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for supporting. Uh, we got a hundred of them things. You feel me? I was going to do a separate video, but I just I actually made a separate video, made a separate video and I didn't want to put it out because my energy was terrible. My energy was real low. It wasn't high. All right. All right. All right. So my energy was real high. My energy wasn't as high. It was it was real low, and I just didn't like how the video came out. Didn't like how it was looking. I gotta actually invest in another soft box for more lighting, and that's basically about it. But we hit a hundred subs, man. It was a long journey, a long road. I was just talking to my brother about this, you know, earlier today. It's just it's been a struggle, man. Thank you for everybody who's supporting. Thank you for everybody that's saying congrats and everything. And for the people who weren't saying congratulations, I remember everything. But you feel me? It's just a hundred. Like I tell myself, it's just a hundred. The next step is a thousand. So we just gonna keep working, keep grinding, keep working our way all the way to the top. And I'm not gonna stop until you feel me. I'm satisfied. And nothing really. It's going to satisfy me for real, for real. I'm just going to keep on, you feel me, finding new goals for real. So thank y'all, everybody, feel me, from the bottom of my heart that shared my uh, my YouTube channel that, you know, constantly watch and, and, and they always tuned in and they always waiting on a new video. I thank y'all, love y'all, you feel me. And I'm going to keep running, running these videos up. I'm going to keep on pushing out content for not just my amusement and my enjoyment, but, you know, to entertain y'all. So thank you again, man. Overly TV, man. We taking another step. Got them blues in my pocket, yeah. Put back Gucci in that jam sport. My car came with a passport.